Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to my mod pack course on how to create a mod pack and then how to create a server. This video would be on how to create the actual mod pack so that you can play with your preferred mods. And then next video will be how to create a server so that people can join, people can, your friends can download their mod pack and play by themselves or create their own servers and other people can too, which is a harder process, but that would be the second video, so not this video. So I did make some mod packs in the past. I've learned from it. It's kind of hard, but it's kind of easy too. Um, a lot of errors, trials, and stuff. So I wanted to share my experience with you guys and how to actually build it. This is my current. Um, there would be a link down in the description, Spicy Vanilla Plus by Kika13. Um, it's just like vanilla, but it has a little bit of tech in it. So it's it look it still looks like a vanilla. So a new player can still play it, and then it has more things added onto it. And I'll be updating it and stuff. Uh, you can join our Discord be here. So I'll put it the description down. If you have any questions, I always answer the Discord. So it'll be Kiki Thirteen official server. Here we have like FAQs, Minecraft shell, people help each other. So you can just join that and we can make this community grow and help each other. And there's people who are very helpful in the server. So if you have any questions about this, just like reach out for real. Um, so let's get started. First, you would want to make uh, one folder, right? Then we're going to create a folder inside that's going to call bin. Another folder that's going to be called mods. And then one more because we don't have to, but we will config. We'll see how that works. Okay, so next you're gonna go to the first link in the description. Well, second now. Second link in the description, you would wanna create an account. Click create mod pack. Type. Let's put YouTube Kika 13 test. This is the important part, okay? So I made a little graphic, I don't know where it is. But basically your Minecraft, your Forge, and your mods need to be running the same version. And that's what people don't understand. So the best version to have that has more mods is 1.12.2. It's like one of the best versions to create a mod for because a lot of people uh, have a lot of actual mods for that version and they work and everything works fine. So here you can write a short description. This is a test for YouTube. And then I agree, create mod pack. This name has already been taken. Let's put test two, test one. Okay, so 1.12, perfect, great. Uh, see, it says your pack will not be visible. So this is what we need. We click edit mod pack, and this is where you would put all the information for the mod pack. You can write a description here. You can click here, pages, resources, like the pictures and stuff. So this is what we need, a mod pack location. This is going to be the second video, which is your server package. So people can download that package and create a server to play with friends. So more people will be using your mod pack, which is good. Okay, so let's get started. Um, one of the main things that people are getting wrong is that you're supposed to click, you go to this link, files at microforge.net. Um, people get wrong and say, click universal, click universal. And this is why it never runs and it's so annoying. So you would go to forge, you would pick the Minecraft version that you chose here. And then you would I pick 1.12.2, which is one of the best versions to create mods for. And you would click download the installer. You would wait for this. And then just wait the five seconds, don't click anything here, and then just click skip. You click keep. now that's done perfect and then you're gonna go to the third link fourth link um, in the description which would be this curse put it bigger so you would click Minecraft you would click mods and then you need to click here the the Minecraft version 1.12 so these are all the mods that work for your version right and you would need to go ahead and let's say, I don't know which one. 
Mm, you need to pick one. Let's pick neat. Right? So you would pick neat. You find the version that's not here. You would click files. You say 1.12. How do you find the version here? Oh, game version, sorry. <laughs> so 1.12.2, this is the latest one for 1.12. So you would download that. So it says, we'll start downloading. Now I need you to check that this mod doesn't depend on others to run. So you would click keep. So the way you do that is you go back on it and then you click relations. I need you to check relations for every single mod you put in your mod pack. If it has any relations, it'll show you like, oh, this mod requires this mod to run. So you would download that one and check dependence for those. And then that's it. You basically download all dependencies and then you drop them. You go here. We'll open this up. Open the downloads. Hmm. Okay. So then we're going to go here, the forge installer, we're going to drop it in bin and the uh, mods that you picked, you drop it in mods. So they're here. Now we're going to go to here. We're going to rename this to mod pack, right? Okay. That's done. And then you have your mods folder with your mods, your mod pack. Okay. Next thing you want to do is upload it to Technic. So you would go like that, pick all of those, add to archive. You will put the name of your mod pack, whatever you want, and then you click SIP. Make sure you click SIP, and you press OK. It's going to make you this. Then you're going to, going to go to Dropbox, right? Upload this should be pretty quickly, depending on how many mods you have. And then what you're going to have to do is share this link. So you would click it, share, create link, copy link. Now you want to go to mod pack location, paste that link, change the zero to one, make sure everything's okay. Press update. Once you update, I want you to go to versions, type in the version 1.0, upload it, mod pack and update version, right? So this is where you're gonna, every time you wanna update your mod and add more mods and stuff, so you would do the same process. You would add the mods to the mod file, compress it into a zip, upload the zip to Dropbox, copy the link, go here, go to mod pack settings, paste the new link, change the zero to one, update mod pack, go to versions, type in 1.0.1, change what you did. Oh, I added new mods, update version. Perfect. So now that that's perfectly running, we're going to go here. We're going to have to test it out now. YouTube. I, don't know, I remember the name. Here it is. And if we did everything right, it should be here. So here you can read the description we wrote. Um, install. Perfect. And then we can click play. Perfect. If this comes on the installation of Forge, you know, it's working. It's amazing. So we have mods and here it shows you what mods we have. We have neat. So if we go to single player world, creative, building the terrain. And we should have neat. Yep. Yeah, look, the mod is running perfect. Okay, guys. So this is something you might want to do. You click here, launch, you click Java. And if your Minecraft running very slow, you can up, you can put more memory to the Minecraft. So I put four gigs because my computer has 16. I think that's fair enough for it to run. So if you have any questions, make sure you check out the discord. 
and you can also message me there. Um, I would have a separate channel for mod pack help. Just find that, type your question, I'll help you out. Um, but yeah, next video will be how to create the actual server. So let me know if you want to see that. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy with friends. Bye-bye.